Hi students, I am Dr. Sonali. Today, let's discuss about the coordination and response from the nervous system. We are aware that all the organisms, they interact with their environment. They have certain organ systems. With the help of that, they respond to their environment. Uh, for instance, can you tell me that how does the runner translates the sound of a starting gun into an action or what are the organs which are involved in the runner's movement. So how as soon as the runner's ears hear the sound of the pistol, the brain processes that sound into the signals and those signals basically instruct the muscles and the person starts running. How does it occur? It's very interesting to know. So let's talk about the responses. So here, as you can see, we have the sensory organs. The, these are ears, eyes, tongue, nose, and the skin, which have different responses towards the environment. Simple organisms, prokaryotes, they have simple mechanisms for the response acting against the stimuli but we have for example for the sound light taste buds or uh, with response to some gas or the chemical sm uh, smell of a chemical or the touch so these are basically the stimuli for these sensory organs so we have sensitivity towards the different stimuli and these all these organs basically help in maintaining the homeostasis now what is homeostasis it is it is a process of maintaining the internal balance inside the body so it is a process of self control a state of self control where an organism maintains the balance inside its body so then we come towards the effector. So as soon as the signals reaches to the brain there, the processing will take place. So brain will be called, called as coordinator. Brain and the spinal cord. These two will be called as the coordinators. They will send back the signals to the effectors. Now effectors are the organs which are going to act against that signal. So either muscles or the glands they will act as the effectors so as in this example the salivary glands are the effectors so as soon as we consume the food the signals will be sent to the brain and brain will instruct salivary glands to secrete the saliva so that the process of digestion can be initiated so here as you can see this is the most popular example that we discussed many times so this the heat is a stimulus here and the receptor is our skin from here the signals go to the spinal cord uh, through the sensory neurons and sensory neurons will be called as efferent efferent here the process processing will be done and it will instruct the muscles that there is a hot surface remove your hand so as soon as this information reaches to the muscle we will quickly remove our hand and that is done with the help of motor neurons or we call it as the effectors so effectors bring the information back to the effector organs right so it is a very simple example of uh, how the process uh, how the stimulus is taken by the receptor information is uh, traveled to uh, till the coordinator with the help of sensory nerves and this comes back to the muscles or the effectors through the motor neurons so this is how we have seen a very small topic but yet it's very interesting so if you have liked my video subscribe and follow me over the Facebook, Instagram and the YouTube and stay tuned for more, more such interesting videos. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.